Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And we know what's been going on behind the scenes with Katie Hobbs in the state of Arizona, how she has pressured the the uh, secretary, not the secretary of states, but the secretary of elections in each county to uh, supervisor of elections, excuse me, supervisor elections in each county to go ahead and, and certify this election, even though there's been lots of questions. Well, now more and more evidence is coming out that she also used Twitter uh, resources teams to silence her critics. Once again, Twitter interfering in an election, and this time in Arizona. We already know that Katie Hobbs has been linked to the FTX scandal, where she has received uh, for, uh, money that was stolen from its investors and, and put into her coffers. Now we also know that she utilized uh, Twitter to silence her opponents. This is an absolute uh, criminal. This is criminal, what's taking place right now. And this election should not stand as it is at the moment. There should be a full launched investigation into all of it and possibly rehold this election in Arizona. And not even that, you know, I would go to one step further saying that she's not fit for office because of all of these issues that has now becoming now that is surfacing and one one of those things is because of elon musk's uh, hold on twitter and another is katie or carrie lake's refusal to stop fighting so before we dive into today's story don't forget to hit that like button subscribe button if you're new here thank you for joining me allow me to share some info with you hopefully you can share it with your friends and family smash that like button to 1500 likes and if you like the content you like the video you like the channel smash that super thanks as well so let's go ahead and take a look at this coming to us from the gateway pundit over here and it says Proof, crooked Secretary of State Katie Hobbs had Twitter silence her critics in Arizona prior to the election she ran in. <laughs> no surprise for me whatsoever. Now we know why crooked Katie Hobbs didn't want to debate Carrie Lake. Why would she, uh, Why would she, when she ran the election, oversaw 30% of the election day precincts machines break down, had the media in her pocket, and was working with social media platforms to silence her critics? This is likely criminal activity, especially if you silenced her critics during the, her gubernatorial run, which is more than likely. As soon as we hear about over 70,000 ballots were sent out before Election Day. This was uh, via Trump attorney Christina Bob here. She says, unreal. Katie Hobbs' office contacts Twitter to have post removed. So the Democrat candidate who ran the, in the Arizona election censored her political opponents disrupted the election day votes, and then threatened counties with prosecution if they didn't declare her the winner. Here's one of the emails here, right? Um, and of course, uh, it says, thank you. Both tweets have been removed from the service. Thank you. Uh, and again, just repeated efforts to go ahead and go after her opponents. So when is election, so when is this election too riddled with criminality that it has to be certified when does the people say enough when do the people of arizona say enough and why do we put up a party that continues to side with the lawless communist left is this criminal activity it should be and there's and marjorie taylor green said the secretary of state of arizona and governor candidate katie hobbs used the power of the arizona secretary of state to collude with twitter to unconstitutionally violate First Amendment rights of Americans for her own political gain. This is communism, and Hobbes can not be governor. I'm calling for a federal investigation. And there needs to be more than just an investigation. There needs to be accountability and no, not somebody just resigning. No, prison sentences for the lot of them. This has gone on long enough. And this is why Democrats continue to do what they do, because they know there is no consequence for them doing this. It has been proven already that there is no consequence because we have allowed 2020 to continue to be held up as some type of uh, uh, secure election, as they would call it. And we know that there was riddled, riddled with issues from the entire onset, even Time Magazine had chronicled how they had to step in to defend democracy no matter what, if they had to change the rules, change the laws in order to do so. This is criminal. Katie Hobbs needs to be in prison. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey and Gab. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, leave it. Let's go, Brandon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, 
great day.